Hi everyone. My name is Julie Turner and I'm the corporate sales and marketer with MBH Settlement Group here in the DC area. We are licensed in all three jurisdictions of Maryland, DC, and Virginia. I have a special guest with me today, um, Mariah Unruh. Hello, Mariah. How are you today? I'm doing great, Julie. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for coming and speaking with me today. So guys, Mariah Unruh is the KW, Keller Williams, Capital Properties Area Director for the Northern Virginia area. And so we're just going to talk today a little bit about what, what's going on um, with her brokerage, how she got started in the industry, what she does for KW, Keller Williams, and um, how they're kind of navigating through this uncertainty time of COVID in our real estate world and just a little bit about the market. So first I'd like to ask Mariah, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us how you got into the industry of real estate and how you were able to join um, Keller Williams Capital Properties. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for asking. I started my real estate career with my husband. Um, we were spouses selling houses back when that wasn't a really cool thing, um, but it ended up being really great. Uh, and that was about 20 years ago. Um, I got my uh, associate broker's license in 05, again with my husband. And then in 2012, we left a, a major competitor and moved our business over to Keller Williams Capital Properties. Um, honestly, I thought my main purpose in life was to raise my three kids and make sure that they were assets to our community. Um, but I soon realized um, that after joining KWCP that I hadn't even scratched the surface yet of what my life was, uh, you know, <laughs> what, what the purpose was for my life. So um, I was given the opportunity to serve on the Associate Leadership Council um, as a culture committee chair. And so uh, while I actively sold real estate, I was able to contribute by spearheading the give back efforts in our market center. Um, and then in 2017, our CEO, uh, came to me and offered me the opportunity to be team leader in our Stafford Relaunch Market Center, um, which I began January 1st in 2018. And then at the beginning of this year, um, I became Keller Williams Capital Properties Area Director for Northern Virginia in charge of leading growth in our Virginia market centers. So awesome. Julie, tell me about you. What do you do at MBH? Well, I am currently the corporate uh, sales and marketer for MBH. We have 20 uh, brick and mortar offices here located throughout the DC area. So Maryland, DC and Virginia. Uh, and I help grow uh, each of the offices in just building relationships and maintaining um, the relationships that we have in business development, marketing, sales. And uh, for me, it's just, you know, continuing the relationships that I've had over the years in the real estate title industry, which has been such an honor and such a blessing uh, to learn every step of the way with real estate. I started as an agent um, in 2012, actually with Keller Williams. And um, from there, I ended up getting into title and was a marketer and business development agent for another uh, local title company. And from there, I actually went I dipped e into the underwriting world of title. So I was a regional uh, rep for a small local underwriter here on the Eastern shore board of the United States. And I just missed this side. You know, underwriting was great. Building those relationships with the CEOs of title companies was great, but I love my agents and I just love real estate and I love the market and just understanding what's going on currently with the market. But now that I'm a corporate sales and marketer for MBH, again, I just uh, here to help grow and continue to build relationships. Nice. Yeah. So you have a lot of experience in our field. <laughs> well, it's been great. It's been great. It's nice to learn the front end of a, re a real estate transaction as an agent, and then obviously the middle as a title company. But then a lot of people don't know the third layer of the onion that I call it of the underwriting. So it's been, it's been fantastic. And I joke about it, but it's not, I can't look at a house anymore and just look at it regularly about a, a sale of a house. It's, it goes down a deep, dark rabbit hole of, of um, 
well, do you know in underwriting that? <laughs> so it goes down in the deep, dark rabbit hole, but it's fun. It's fun and it's um, been such a blessing to learn so many different parts of the of transaction. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what uh, Keller Williams is doing during this time of COVID. It, it's such an uncertainty time. We were just saying that uh, we are very lucky to have a booming real estate market. Um, currently, it's, it's chugging away. People are still buying. People are still selling. But how has Keller Williams not only adjusted to COVID to make sure that your agents are safe, but also your clientele? What are you guys doing during this time of COVID to service them? Yeah, excellent question. Um, it is insane out there. Uh, definitely a seller's market. There is no inventory, as you know. Um, it, yeah, we are certainly blessed, and um, you know, with our RPAC um, advocates, you know, with the the association, what is the reason we pay RPAC dues? You know, people um, making sure that we're able to be an essential um, definitely helped us. Uh, remain open, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but COVID-19 has severely impacted our industry, just like all others. Um, we needed to quickly pivot and shift, and um, our whole business changed. So the, able, the, the way we were able to service our agents and our clients was to you know, quickly jump into action. Um, client moving orders were put on hold. Children pulled out of school, businesses closed, all affecting financing and home purchases. Um, so KWCP held daily training for our agents to pull us all together, to keep us focused and motivated in the right mindset. Um, we mastermind daily and train on how to do business in our new landscape. Um, and our business owner partners, our agents started enhancing the home selling digital experience. Um, nice. Adding Matterport to listings. Uh, definitely had to do virtual tours. That wasn't a question anymore. It wasn't optional. Um, open houses and showing houses all shifted to virtual um, or, you know, standing outside going in one at a time, limited to no more than 10. Um, family members, you know, of clients, they, they, they can't bring them. Um, so very small showings. Um, sanitizing stations placed in all properties, appointments held on Zoom. So now listing presentations, I mean, honestly, it, it's, it's, a, it's also a blessing. I mean, we're able to leverage our time and offer more um, options for our clients so that we can serve them better, you know. So now that our world is digitally enhanced, I don't <laughs> think we're ever going back. Um, I think we're going to be a digital world with an in-person enhanced experience is my prediction. Nice, nice. Well, that's so great that you guys are up on all the technology that's going on. Um, I think across the board, right? Across the board with agents, brokerages, um, loan officers, brokers, uh, as well as title companies are really climbing on board with the technology. So that's something here too with MBH. We provide via, you know, as long as the loan officer and is, is on board and approves of the electronic signatures, we are able to provide the electronic closings. Um, we have done drive-by closings in a car, obviously safety with masks and gloves. Clients stay within the vehicle. They sign their papers. Um, one usage pens. However, all of our offices are still open for business. Uh, but like you said, we limit it to only the signers only. And it's, it is, this is where I do become a little sad because it is such a joyous occasion to purchase and sell your home. And so yeah. people did have families and friends and, you know, cousins and moms and neighbors, pet dog come to the settle ta settlement table. But during this time, obviously, we want to make sure that we keep our clients and our agents safe. We do ask that only the signers do show up at closings. We sanitize each and every uh, closing table between settlements. Like I said, one usage pens. We have masks, sanitizer, gloves available. Um, but we do have the option to have a e-notary, e-signature, e-closing, e-recording, and, and all of that to hold those electronic settlements. Um, another thing too is that we have this great app. It's called BankShot. And so before where agents used to have to scrounge and hurry up and get to the office to deposit the EMD or wire over the EMD, 
-hmm. have this great app called Bankshot that they can electronically uh, deposit the EMD within a matter of seconds. Um, so that's that really great. Cool. Yes, it's, it's really helpful for a lot of our agents. So I'm glad to hear that, you know, business is still booming and that we are able to pivot, like you said, and just provide um, the necessary uh, electronic and technology, you know, driven industry now, I guess you could say. And it's funny you say that we, we're we going to move forward in that aspect. I hope we do continue to move forward in that aspect in the fact that we can leverage our time. Yeah. But as you know, this industry is such a personal face industry, you know, face to face in person industry. And so I do hope that we don't lose that, that customer service of, of professionalism face to face as well. No way. I don't, I don't think so. I think we crave to be with people. Um, but if someone gets home at nine o'clock and they want to do a listing presentation, we're able to have more flexibility. Yeah. So I think we just added, you know, just more versatility. No, I agree with you completely. And I think that's a, a great point. And um, people are now more getting are getting more savvy to get on Zoom and like you said, doing a listing agreement or a listing presentation at nine eight nine p.m. That's, we were forced to, right? <laughs> there was yes. a yes. Get on it. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about uh, your brokerage. Tell us. I know that you help to grow the Northern Virginia uh, Keller Williams. So tell us uh, what you look for in partnering with specific agents, um, with specific vendors, such as, you know, i.e. A, a, a title company or anyone that you find business partnerships with. Tell us um, what you look for in those people. I love that question and it's very short, sweet, and to the point. Um, definitely consistency, honesty, care and reliability, support. Um, training. I, I love training and growing together. Excellent communication. Um, basically, under promising and over delivering. That's what I look for in any sort of vendor or business partner or title company. Um, definitely. Awesome. How about you? What do you look for? Um, it's this the same. You know, at the end of the day, we do business with people that we like. Yeah. And you can't like someone if that person's not genuine. And for me, I feel like you just got to be transparent. You got to be genuine. You got to be honest. And also for me, I'm really big on mutually beneficial relationships. I just feel that, you know, there's so many different vendor partnerships out here, which is great. I'm so glad that we have a plethora of, of choices to choose from. But after meeting someone and just vibing with someone and making sure that you guys can be on the same wavelength. Um, and then also creating that personal relationship, you know, that personal touch, that relationship and moving forward into business. You wanna make sure that you click business and personal as well. And then um, for me, I, I like to have that mutual beneficial relationship. Like what can I do to provide business for you and knowing that you're going to help provide business for us, you know? Um, and so I'm really big on mutually beneficial relationships and finding partners that are in agreement with having that mutually beneficial relationship. The secret sauce of life. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, and then tell us a little bit about um, what agents can do to contact you if they want to, you know, join your great team over there at Keller Williams, uh, you know, whether it's email, phone number, contact information, uh, or any vendors that want to maybe reach out and do, do business with you. Um, tell us how we can get a hold of you. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, I also want to add why, uh, why I would definitely think you're a good fit if you are. Um, so we are business partners with our agents and their success is our success. KW is an open book company, which is, you know, it's, it's pretty rare. And we share 48.5% of all of our profits back to our agents who help us grow. So that is something that's unique to KW. Um, and our opportunity map is endless. My life is a testimony to that. And, you know, just when I thought, you know, my purpose was discovered, I, I hadn't even touched on it. So um, 
you know, we want team members who are interested in running their business like a business with business plans and profit and loss statements and accountability and willingness to learn and to grow, um, treating their clients with care and obedience and loyalty and accountability and disclosure, all the co walled things that we swore to in our code of ethics, um, but also a desire to collaborate and to share and, um, you know, have a good work ethic and understand the importance of the role that we play in our communities. Um, um, people who are innovative and show up consistently. Um, our pillars are training and technology, culture, and wealth building through real estate. So, um, nice. you know, th that's huge. And our mission is to transform lives and careers and communities through real estate to build careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. So if that resonates with someone and, and we're someone that you would like to do business with, I would love to have a conversation. Um, my name is Mariah Unruh. I'm with Keller Williams Capital Properties. My cell phone number, I'm very responsive, 703-855-5084, um, or email M as in Mary, U-N-R-U-H, at kwcapitalproperties.com. And like everyone else, I am available on Facebook, IG, Twitter, email, text, call me. I can't wait to talk with you. Awesome. 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 And I love that. And I can attest to that. I mean, I love how KW really works on the mentality, the mental mindset of an agent. And once they build up that positive mental mindset of, of an agent, yeah. it reaches way past business. It does. It reaches way past business. It reaches into relationships, into your home life, into your personal life into your, you know, so I, that's one thing I really appreciate about Keller Williams is that uh -huh. they hone in and really dig in on training and uplifting the mindset of an agent. Oh, I love those kind words that makes me <laughs> so happy. But I, I and, and in return, I also have to say being in the business 20 years, you know, MBH has been a consistent and reliable source and always, always, um, great relationships like you said a give and a take and a win-win so thank you I, I appreciate your kind words it means a lot absolutely well again everyone my name is julie turner i'm the corporate sales and marketer for mbh settlement group you can get a hold of me at j turner at mbh.com j t u r n e r at mbh.com uh love to help you out with any uh sale, whether it's commercial, real estate, uh, residential, short sales, refis, residential um, purchases. And uh, thank you so much for listening today. I really appreciate your time, Mariah. And I'm so grateful that you came on today to talk to us a little bit about the industry and what you guys are doing over at Keller Williams. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much.